Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm finally going to be making another immunotherapy update because someone commented on one of my videos and asked for an update. It's been a few months since I made one. I think my last one was at about six and a half months and I'm currently about eight and a half months on immunotherapy. So I guess the biggest update since my last video is that I'm officially on the maintenance dose. So I reached the highest concentration and now I'm just getting shots for that every two months and then it's gonna go up to every three months and every four months and so on and so forth. So that's been the biggest change. And now that I'm getting the same dose every time, my reactions have haven't been as bad. In some of my previous videos, I talked about how my arms were getting really swollen around the injection site and things like that. So that's not really happening that much anymore. I still usually do have a small reaction, but it's really not that bad anymore. So the experience of actually getting the shots has been a lot better. It's really convenient to not have to go every single week now. And then as far as allergy symptoms and everything like that, my allergies are definitely significantly better than they were this time last year. I'm still taking Surfacine, which is generic Zyrtec. But I actually forgot it a few times last week and I only noticed a slight difference and that was mostly just my eyes were getting kind of itchy. But I definitely wasn't coughing or sneezing as much as I did before when I wouldn't take it. So I was skipping the pills and not noticing a huge difference. It really kind of proved to me that this actually is working. Because I had been taking Surtazine very regularly throughout the entire time because that's what my doctor told me to do. But now I'm getting to a point where I think I can just stop taking it soon. I'm not really sure if you're supposed to stop taking it cold turkey or not. So I guess I'm going to ask. So I'm probably going to ask when I go in this week. I definitely would not recommend stopping any medication that your doctor has told you to take. I just accidentally forgot to take it a couple of times and I didn't really notice a huge difference. So overall, immunotherapy has definitely been really great for me. I would absolutely recommend trying it to anyone out there. It does take a lot of time and effort and patience. I had to get shots every single week for more than six months. So you really have to be dedicated to taking that time and scheduling your appointments and making sure that you can take the time off of work or school or whatever else you're doing because it is really one of those things that you need to be consistent with to see the results that you want. You can't miss a bunch of appointments and not get your shots and expect everything to work out. But if you are willing to put in the effort, I think that it's definitely worth it. It's also worth it if you have an insurance plan that covers it because it can get pretty expensive. The place that I go to charges $48 per shot. And then you also have to buy the shot solution, which was about $900 for me. I had the solution completely covered when I had Aetna insurance. So as I've said in previous videos, if you are thinking about starting this process, definitely get, definitely get an insurance plan like Aetna that does completely cover immunotherapy because it is a very expensive process. If you're doing it out of pocket, you might have to spend close to $2,000 before you can take your first shot. So definitely call your insurance company and see what they're gonna cover and see how much you're gonna pay before you decide to start this process because at least where I live, it does kind of take a while because there aren't that many allergy doctors. So those are pretty much my main bits of advice to anyone that's thinking about doing this. Overall, I think it's great. I completely recommend it and I'm so glad that I decided to do this even though it was not an easy process. If any of you have any questions about immunotherapy, I would be more than happy to answer them down in the comments below. Also leave all of the information about the clinic and doctor I go to in the description below, so be sure to check that out if you're in the area. I think that's pretty much everything that I wanna say about immunotherapy. But before I end this video, I do wanna say that I know that I haven't been answering my comments as quickly as I used to, and I haven't been answering DMs and emails as quickly as I used to, and that's because I've been very busy with a lot of advocacy work and things going on in my community. I can explain what I've been up to in another video if you guys are actually interested in that, but just know that I do still care about you all and I'm trying my best to get back to everyone, I'm just very, very busy at this moment in time. But if any of you do have any questions or need some help with something, feel free to comment down below or DM me or email me and I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.